Extinguishing systems are designed to extinguish fires at the stage of their development. It may be necessary to maintain the extinguishing concentration until the risk of reignition is no longer present. A gas fire extinguishing system consists of several components. A pilot gas container and the extinguishing gas containers with extinguishing gas stored under pressure. As well as manual release devices. The display panel and the optical and acoustical signaling devices. the extinguishing pipes and nozzles, the components of the fire detection and alarm system are located in the protected area of the system and are connected to the electrical control device via a loop line. If you notice a developing fire and the automatic detectors have not been triggered yet, Please activate the manual release devices to fight the fire. In the event of a developing fire, even the smallest smoke particles should be aspirated by the aspiration pipe system and fed to the Titanus aspirating smoke detector so that a fire can be detected at an early stage. With the first alarm signal, an acoustic alarm signal is automatically emitted. and the fire damper is closed, thus interrupting the supply of fresh air. If there are people in the room, they must now leave the room immediately. The energy supply is now switched off. If there is further smoke development, the smoke is detected by the automatic fire detectors. And a second alarm is triggered. The imminent start of fire extinguishing measures is indicated on the display panel and by a flashing light. The extinguishing control panel now initiates the extinguishing process. Pilot gas from the pilot gas container is forwarded to the pneumatic alarm and triggers it. At this point at the latest, a loud signal makes it clear to all people that they must leave the room. At the same time, the pilot gas reaches the pneumatic delay device, which delays the extinguishing process by the time determined for the specific project, so that people who are still in the room leave it now. The control pressure then reaches the extinguishing gas containers and triggers them. The extinguishing gas is introduced into the protected area through the extinguishing pipes and distributed through the nozzles and the extinguishing gas concentration, effective for extinguishing, is built up inside the room. Pressure relief flaps open to the outside, and the resulting overpressure is discharged away from the extinguishing area. When the extinguishing gas flow ends, the pressure relief flaps close again. In order to prevent possible reignitions, the extinguishing gas is kept in the room for a defined period of time. The room must remain closed until the fire department arrives. Re-entering the room is only permitted if appropriate authorization has been granted.